This is a demo of creating your own reasoning model by distilling DeepSeek R1 using Kiln. Let's jump right in. First, I'll define the task that we want to fine tune this model for. I'll just use the example task, which is a joke generator. You can see we've got some example content for a prompt. For requirements, uh, what not, it should keep it clean and be funny. For the input format, where we have a joke topic and a joke style, and the mod is going to output the setup and punchline. So we can create this task and simply run it. Let's create a joke about cows and the style of a dad joke. And you see we're going to run it using DeepSeek R1 Distill. And now that it's done running, you can see it actually not only produced an output that set up the punchline of the joke itself, but also reasoning from R1 Distill about what should go into that joke. And by just by running this, we've created the basis of a fine-tuning data set where we can create our own task-specific fine-tune of DeepSeek R1. Now, one example is not going to do it for fine-tuning, so let's jump over to synthetic data generation. Within synthetic data generation is a tool that helps you build out your data set using hundreds or thousands of examples. So we'll start just by creating some top-level topics. I'm actually going to use Sonic here, and I'm going to create six top-level joke topics. Now, Kiln is aware of your prompt and your task goal, so you don't need to enter anything else. It's going to generate some good topics for jokes. So animal-related technology and gadgets, it just kind of have a broad sort of coverage. And within that, we can even generate subtopics. So within professional topics, let's generate some more subtopics. And you can see doctor jokes, teacher jokes. Let's generate some lawyer joke topics as well. And you can see it's created different styles of jokes. So a lawyer joke about wordplay, a courtroom situational joke, and things like that. So it's helping us build out thousands of examples really quickly. Now I'm going to spend some time in this UI. All right. I spent about five minutes in the synthetic data generation UI and created around 500 samples across a range of topics. I can simply click to save those all, pick a reasoning model for where I want to actually generate the outputs, and kick off the synthetic data generation. This will take a few minutes. We'll be right back. And all right, our synthetic data generation is complete. We've got 500 new samples. We can head over the data set tab to take a look at all of those and click in any, on any one of them and actually see we have both the final result and the R1 reasoning output. If we want to build a really high quality model, we could have a subject matter expert from our team come through and rate each individual joke by a number of criteria and even repair the output when there's something wrong. We're just doing a test here, so we're going to jump right over and into fine-tuning. So we can create a new fine-tune in just a few clicks inside Kiln AI. I'll start with picking a final a model to fine-tune. Let's use Lambda 3.18 billion. I'll create a new data set for fine-tuning, and I'm going to filter this to only items with reasoning output and use all of my data, although I could withhold the training and validation set if I wanted to. I'm going to use the built-in prompt, and I'm going to train it for not just the final response, but final response and intermediate thinking. So I can kick that off. And a fine-tuned job has just been dispatched to Fireworks. I'll repeat this process for two more models on Fireworks, Lambda 3.2, 1 billion, and 3 billion, for OpenAI, uh, GPT-40 Mini, and if I wanted to, I could also download the data sets for use for fine-tuning locally with Unslot. All right, and now these are all kicked off and running. We just need to wait for them to finish fine-tuning. All right, and after a bit of waiting, we've got four new fine-tuned models based on that data set we built, ranging from a small Lambda 3.23 billion all the way up to GPT-40 Mini and Lambda 7 billion. Let's go try them out. We can just go back to the Run tab. I'm going to select the th Lambda 3 billion variant that we just trained. And it's going to use this fine-tuning prompt that we trained with. Come up with a topic. And run our new model. As you can see, it generated reasoning output, which it learned from the R1 to still. And the final output, just like it was trained to do. So we built a new model that's Lambda 3 base, which means it's three times faster and seven times cheaper than the distill we were using to, for the training data. So that's it. We can also run any other of our variants here, and they all work just the same. Now we've got four fine-tuned models that we can evaluate and find which one's best for a problem. Now, 
Distill in R1 isn't the only way to make better inference time scaled models. If you are working on a product where you actually have a better idea of the reasoning needed to use to find the answer than DeepSeek R1 does, you can use chain of thought as well. So let's create a custom prompt. And then let's select chain of thought prompting and give it custom instructions. In this case, some instructions I've written about how to brainstorm good joke ideas. I'll save that prompt. I'll pop back over to the run tab and I'll select a normal non-reasoning model and the new prompt I just created. And I'll run that. As you can see, it's generated the exact same thing we're looking for before, a final answer and reasoning. In this case, the reasoning actually follows the guidance I gave it as a human-led guidance. So if you are better coming up with reasoning structures for your problem, you can use chain of thought prompting and normal LLMs, non-reasoning LLMs, to create a data set just like we did for the R1 distillation. So both options are available, and it's worth trying both for your problem to see which works best. And that's it. We've created four fine-tuned prompts distilled from R1 and about 30 minutes of work. I uh, hope you check out Kiln. It's available for free on GitHub as a free download. And thanks for watching.